What's up, YouTube? It's Jamie here. trying to light some extremely wet Sutliff tobacco. I tell you, one thing I'm not too excited about with Sutliff, I've only done, well, one review of Metropolitan, and now this one here I'm going to do a review of uh, Black Swan. Both of them so far completely soaked. Angela's brand new bag, tamper, snuffer. Sutliff Black Swan. It says exceptionally mild and aromatic blend, sweet and dark. Um, I made the same mistake earlier as I did the other day. I did record a video that was 16 minutes long, somewhere in thereabouts, and I don't see it on my uploads on YouTube, so I'm going to do it again and try to speed things up. So, I think this is my fourth bowl. you can see down in there or not. But for the most part, it hasn't gone down a whole lot. This tin was only filled up, I'd say, maybe a third of the way. If that. So I don't know if Sutliff does this on purpose. Um, you know, really moisten up their tobacco for the weight, because I'm sure if I scaled this at the very beginning, I'm sure it would have weighed up. This is a 1.5 ounce tin. But so anyhow, worst case scenario, throw it out on a paper plate for 20 minutes, let it dry out a little bit. Like I should have today. <laughs> this Peterson pipe smokes like a champ too. It's a Peterson Dracula. This shape, this billiard shape, I've noticed, smokes awesome. Usually it's the kind you can set the pipe down in the stand, go do something for a couple minutes, you come back, and it's still going good. Um, so anyhow, Sutliff Black Swan, to me it's like your classic middle of the road, like a black Cavendish, you know, it's just, just chunks, um, kind of shredded chunks, tin note is awesome, it's got that nice sweet raisiny, kind of plummy smell. Um, I don't really see like a 
whole lot of casing on here, like, you know, like sometimes you can actually see the stuff they spray on or whatever. This really don't have it, so. One big plus I've noticed with this, for me anyways, zero tongue bite. And, I mean, I've gone at it pretty hard on a, uh, another pipe of mine, and no tongue bite. I'd be willing to bet that it's wife approved. It smells really good. And unlike most aromatics, this one, for me, the farther I go down the bowl, it seems like it actually sweetens up. It doesn't get like real hot, ashy. Um, I don't know, for me, it seems like it actually just sweetens up. Burns real clean, nice white ash. Um, it doesn't have any real big like wow factor though, for me. Um, Like I said, this one here is kind of like just a middle of the road. Probably be great for somebody that's just starting out. Um, definitely like an all day kind of smoke. Um, like the Northwest Pipe Smoker put it best one time. He said, some nights for dinner, you just want a slice of pizza. You don't want a five course meal. You know, you just want something simple, quick, easy. To me, that's this black swan. Um, I do get like little hints of like a vanilla flavor. Like a vanilla. Vanilla raisin. Definitely a sweet smoke. I think they have it advertised right. Sweet and dark. It definitely is. So, I'd say out of five stars, I'd give this a three. I'll definitely finish the 10, but personally, I don't know if I'd reorder this. Um, I mean, maybe. This would be like a good work tobacco. It's probably what I'm going to do with the rest of this 10. Mm, I got a little something to show you guys, too. Took a motorcycle ride yesterday with some friends down to uh, Detroit just to go look at some historical buildings that are abandoned. Um, we went to the old Tiger Stadium, actually walked the bases, walked around the field. As many of you know, you know, Tiger Stadium is no longer, but the field is still there. So the history, the people that have been there is just amazing. So anyhow, we went out there and did that. Then we, uh, I found this little pipe shop. It used to be a pipe shop. Now it's just like a little party store. So I went in there just to see if they had any old relics, you know, anything from their pipe shop days. Um, to which they really didn't. But uh, there's a couple little pipe stands and um, really cool Indian, you know, like those gigantic Indian uh, sculptures you see outside of tobacco shops. He had one in there about two feet high. They would just die for and he seen me looking at it, and he just said, don't even ask, it's going nowhere. <laughs> like, damn. But, uh, one little thing he did have. Let me show you. It's 
cool little pipe stand. Captain Black. Got the little ship. It's got the little ship on, on either side. There's another one over there. But uh, it's a real heavy pewter. God, I need to invest into a camera. Um, so long story short, I asked him about that. He says ever since he bought the shop, that's been in there. There wasn't a price tag on it. I offered him five bucks. He thought about it. And he's like, nah, I'm going to hold on to it. I knew I had a $10 bill in my front pocket, so. I thought, you know what, I don't have a pipe stand. This one here is kind of cool. Never seen it before. So, sorry, ten bucks, final offer. He said it's yours, so. Cool. Definitely glad to own it. If anybody recognizes it, remembers when Captain Black offered these, let me know. Just kind of interested to find out a little bit about it. Like, was it like a little send away? You know, so many proofs of purchase or. I can picture probably in the back of one of their pouches, maybe a little coupon, a little ad, send in whatever to get this, but pretty neat. I didn't have a pipe stand, no idea. Went down to Detroit to look at old buildings and uh, came home with a pipe stand. <coughs> so. Like I said, Black Swan Salif, so three out of five stars for me. Definitely a nice, smooth, sweet smoke. To me, it does sweeten up as you go. Get some nice little raisiny notes and a little bit of vanilla. Um, you know, I wish it was a little bit drier, but I think that's Salif's deal. So. Interested to see the next ones that I review if it's like that with everything they have, as far as being just soaked. But I appreciate them letting me do the review, though. Very much so. So I'd recommend it, you know. I'm sure most people would enjoy it. But it's not like it's going to. You know, something you're going to hurry up and jump up and go order a pound of it tomorrow, I don't think. But who knows, maybe somebody, that's what they're looking for. Um, so with that said, I'm going to try to keep this uh, video on a shorter side, so hopefully I can upload it this time. Um, hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Sweet smokes to you all. Cheers. We'll talk at y'all later. Peace. I'm out.